one of the best tonality Tuesdays you're gonna have because this is what you all need, okay? And it goes like this. Tonality Tuesday is about reframing. What you all need, every single one of you, I don't care if you're at 15%, 50% or 65%, you all need this. You all need what's behind this wall. Reframe, new idea. Boop! There it is. So you know the script, right? Here's where, here's where you get stuck. Try to get the link, try to get the paper wrap, try to get a quote, trying to get them to apply. All you have to do is A, let them believe that you understand that, B, introduce the same thing, but make it sound like a new offer. And you're all gonna practice this, okay? Um, and I'll do it with Andrew, ready? Andrew sent me the link. Did you get that link? Uh, did you get that? Yeah, but uh, listen, right now, I'm gardening right now. My hands are fucking dirty. I'll be back like a, like just in a water bro. Oh, nice. Did they go to your phone? Yeah, no, I got it. I saw it. Mm, does it open? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I saw okay, it. Okay, just see if it opens, because sometimes there's a pop-up blocker. I'm just curious if it opens. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's open here. Uh, okay. Yeah, open. All right, well, let's go to the next one, though. Okay, good. So, um, paper wrap. Okay, do the start paper wrap. Just act like you don't want to do the paper. I don't want to do the paper. Go. No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> right, no, well, I'm not. Listen, I'm not. I'm shopping. I'm not doing anything, and I'm definitely not doing anything today. We're not doing anything at all today. Mm, so, how do you like shop before already? Like, is this your first time applying for something like this? Um, I mean, you, you're like my first phone call, but I got. I got. Listen, whatever. Tell me what. Tell me how. Tell me what you want to tell me, but I'm not doing anything. <clears throat> mm. Well, why don't we just take a quick five liner and that way they can just kind of knock it out so we know if you qualify. Um, okay, but I'm not doing anything today. Mm, okay. So, like, in other words, like, as far as payment? Yeah, I'm not doing anything today. Oh, no, okay. So we'll actually hold off payment. Why don't we just do, uh, it's just head, heart, lungs, and cancer. Why don't we just do a quick health questionnaire and then we actually see if it's even possible to get a policy like this. Just see if you qualify. <coughs> what do you mean? Uh, well, it's head, heart, lungs, and cancer. So, I mean, is there anything wrong with your head? No. Do you have any, like, medications for, like, heart or lungs cancer? I mean, no. Gotcha. Okay. And, okay, and, next one. Yeah, go. Go to it. Uh, right. Now they don't want to do the quote. Uh, so, go. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, call me back, and uh, now's not a good time. It's just not a good time. Wait, are you at work? Yeah. Mm, are, you on, okay. are you on break or something? No, I'm just busy. I just, listen, are you going back into work? <laughs> yeah, I'm just busy. Mmm, got it. Well, why don't we just plug this in and just see if it's even affordable? That way, I mean, yeah, you'll, you can think on it, but at least we see if it's affordable. You want to just do that? I mean, no. Okay, well, that way we can see if it makes sense. Oh! Why don't, because I can plug this in. I don't need any information. It's just your age, so, what, you're 54 years young, right? Oh, so we have... Yeah. Not, you're, you're, you're not a smoker, right? No. Got it. Okay. And then... All right, okay. let's just plug So it. what he's doing is he's fighting. Mm. You catch it? Something Ryan, you do really, really well. I asked Ryan today, you know, uh, what can David do? Because David has a call count to increase. Ryan said his exact words are, are you fighting? Does that make sense? Okay. So um, this is it. I want you each to practice this. Each of these, I, I'm going to recommend you take a picture of this when I'm going to print it. This is exactly how you get there. You ever you ever watch Andrew turn a customer? Mm -hmm. Right? You watch them, right? This is how. You just keep going. And, and what they're saying is not valid. Do you want to know why? If you fail to close, then what? You fail. Yeah. It's yeah. The secret is, the reason it's Tonality Tuesdays is because you're phrasing it like, this is the way. This is the way. Like, oh, now I understand your situation, so why don't we just do this? But yeah. it's the same fucking thing we're going to do. So, ready? It's, yeah, it's, I'm sending a link. Did you get it? Because. Did it open? Does it open? Because. Some people, it doesn't open. Great. The five liner. Um, I don't want to do that right now. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, I get it. Oh, you're busy. All right. Well then, why do you we want to just, just do a quick health question? Yeah, why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do a quick health question? Oh, why don't we just do that? Rather than that, rather than that, why don't we just do this? Yeah, let's not do that, that way. way. Yeah, yeah, let's not do the thing you don't want to do. Yeah. Why don't we just do a health question? That way it's what you want. Right? It, it sounds, sounds better to them. It sounds yeah. like it's what they want. Yeah. Exactly. Because we got to know if you're approved, right? Okay, so why don't we And then they say no again. Then they say no again. Then you go, all right, listen to why they're saying no. Well, my grandkids are there. Oh, that's cool. You got, you're not sorry. Hey, you got grandkids there? Oh, they're six, 12, and eight? Great. Well, why don't we, since your grandkids are there, why don't we just cover head, heart, lungs, and cancer? Let me get that down for you. Did you catch that? There's no, that's the same thing. Freaking it's just thing. literally like, I'll agree, reframe, and logic. Agree, reframe, logic. 
I just yeah. read yeah, that. Right that's that's just, it was so hot. It's literally agree. Yeah. It's like agree. agree. Agree, reframe, and logic. And you reframe. Now, when all of you... And then you just put a piece of logic to why this will work. Right? Like, right, uh, just get some oh, you're busy? Okay. Well, why don't we just do this because... Yep. This is all you really need to see if you get approved. You need that because... Oh, right. And you're just agreeing with them. That's it. Like this one lady, how I really swung that lady in the end, after she bought the EDD for me, when she didn't want to give her health information, I knew that she needed it for the IUL. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was all about information, information, information. I said, oh, so you just don't want to give out your private information because you don't feel comfortable with that. Yes, exactly. Got it. Well, you know what? The Mutual of Omaha has, has the same idea, but they're not going to do anything crazy like send a nurse to the home or pull any crazy information. They'll just ask a health questionnaire. Verbally. Like you and I will do it. You feel comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys have It's the same yeah, yeah. Right? So don't give anything away. Everything's special. Don't at the end of your pitch give a 30 day free look. Make it special. So now you hold it. Um, they don't want to give you the ACH. Okay? Because I don't get paid till Thursday. Or whatever. Or I'm just, I'm still shopping. Whatever it is. Oh, so you're still getting quotes. Well, why don't I just add a 30 day free look to it? Why don't I just add a 30 day free look? And then lock well, what do you mean? That way, because that way, you have 30 full days and nothing's happening. That's it. And it eliminates. You'll notice half the stuff people say, they're jousting you and they're testing you to see if you believe in your stuff. Mm -hmm. To see if you're even worth your salt. To see if you're good at what you do. That's it. Because I actually want to work with somebody really good. Does that make sense? What is your question, Marcus? I feel like like one thing I've seen recently, specific in Moon, right? Because this lady I was doing, not the lady, the dude I was just working with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mrs. Bush, go. So, <laughs> that was the name. Like, I'm wondering, are we missing anything in our five-liner or complex? Because I've pushed through, like, no, they're just lying to you. Yeah, people, they're they lying. Like you just didn't get it. You just didn't get it. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. actually not even... Even Jacob, Jacob's customer does Some that. people it's, think if they just answer like they're clean... It's fine. Yeah. Right. Then they you have to make sure, like, okay, because they're going to pull it. They're going to find out. If it's not, look, if look, it doesn't match up... Andrew replaced the battery in his Corvette six months ago. He's had the dead cell battery in his trunk for six months. Now, you know what they do when you buy a battery at 50 bucks? They charge you $22 extra for you to bring the battery back for $22. Long story short, I'm going to the gym, CF Fitness, Claremont. There's a, there's a auto zone right there. I just had to be a good dad, right? Like I make him shakes every morning. He sometimes doesn't drink them. Oh, dad, that shark tasted. <laughs> Whatever it is. So it's an apple chopped up. Okay. So I take the battery and I go. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. The guy knows me there. Very cool. I drop the battery and he goes, where's the receipt? I go, you know what? I don't have the receipt. I said, too much info. I was like, but it's for a Corvette battery. Look at the system. I'm sure it's there. He plugs it in, and I start to already think, oh my God, what did this kid need to go to AutoZone? So it was your phone number. Put my phone number in. No, it's not here. I see a BMW battery is bought. So now I'm like, oh, I get it. This guy's playing a game. He's my friend. He's going to give it to me as long as I can give him permission to, to, to give it to me. So I'm like, all right, well, I just said it was for a Corvette. Let's change this game. I go, all right. Uh, you know what? Put my son's phone number in. Puts his phone number in. Comes up. He goes, yeah, I see the Corvette. I see a Mercedes. I was like, you know what? That's the game begins. You know what? I don't know which car it was for. There was a battery off in Mercedes. I go, but the guy loves me, right? So he's just trying to, I see it. He's trying to give me this $22. So I'm like, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I, he's sleeping. Let me text my wife. She's going to know. I text her on Fiverr. Babe, when you respond back, just say Mercedes. And I go, it's a victory. I send her, hey, babe, what's that battery for that Andrew got? Was it for the Corvette and the Mercedes? And I go, she's gonna tell me whatever it is it is, right? Bink, Corvette. No. <laughs> Guy goes, I'm fucking toast, I'm done. Guy goes, it's ten dollars. <laughs> it's not twenty-two anymore. And I text him back, I'm like, motherfucker, you have the receipt. <laughs> I think he wakes up. He goes, I don't, it's chill though. He's like, I opened up hella accounts that day, whatever it was. So I was like, maybe it's under his girlfriend's own, but it didn't work. And I'm like, she's, I go, she's a rewards thief. Try it. He's like, you start talking about how she's selling cheap on rewards. Anyway, so he goes into it and then he goes, dang, I think it was advanced. Now I had my phone. And I go, actually, he doesn't have the receipt. I don't know. So the point is, the guy goes, it's gonna be for Megan. Hi, this is John. Hey, John, I hate to bug you again. This is Craig Maddox with Mutual of Omaha. Yep. I was. I was trying to get a hold of Megan and, and the 
remember that had been given to me to <laughs> what happens? Here's it. what happened. I walked in and gave him too much. Mm. Does that make sense? I gave him. Why didn't I just walk in there? I know. I, how many cars have I owned? I know how the game works. So what I said was when I got caught and it was over, I said, well, Andrew, you failed. You don't get $22. You said I get an in-store credit for $10. So I bought $23 worth of microfiber towels, and if I'm nice to you, I'll give you two fucking towels. That was it. I showed it to the guy. He laughed. I laughed. That's a cool. I fucked up because I didn't say, I have a battery. Look me up. Peter gave it to me for the BMW. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hoo yeah. They just want permission. Your customer is just like my friend at AutoZone. They just want permission to buy you gotta give. Now he was not, He wasn't gonna normally commit fraud. He wasn't gonna be like, "Hey, Joe, fuck it, I'm just gonna put that beamer." He went, We were not that. They're not that cool. Does that make sense? And that's why this works. All right, let's go around the room super quick. Who? Who's brave? Who's already absorbed it? I gave you guys time to buy it. Who's absorbed it? Who can do it? Who can do it? I know what you're. I know what you're thinking, Cameron. How did Dan show? Listen, Dan could do no wrong. Dan doubled down yesterday. Dan could listen. You're safe. The other day, Jacob was in here. And he was with Sabrina. He might have a thing for Sabrina. No, he doesn't. Well, I raised this. Listen, so he's talking to us. Damn it. This doesn't go to anyone. This is internal. She's never going to work here. Listen, so, so he's on here. Because he's with Sabrina for like three hours. It was like 45 minutes. How did that go? Okay. D. Why? Wait, you didn't want to go all the way or couldn't? Who is hot? You couldn't go all the way? No, I'm going to call it. This is relevant to your training because this is real training. Here's the point, and it happens. He had a nice application. The point is, I'm sitting here watching Jacob Mackey in this office by himself with a conference call with Sabrina, and I'm like, what are you doing? And I was like, bro, go in there and sell a deal. And then he reminds me lightly, I wrote 1800. I was like, oh, you're safe. I said, you're safe. You write 206 dials, you're safe. You write 1.7 deals in a day, you're safe. Got it? Where is Dan this morning? He wrote two deals. I'm not trying to tell you to do that because then also too, uh, he's got $8,000 in revenue too. And, and the thing is, you're all behind. Like he's behind on writing 70 grand. You're all behind this Friday kill it, okay? So this is, this is how you're gonna kill it. Who's got, who's got the going out to do this right now? Okay. Go. Yeah. We're, we're gonna ask them what? What we're gonna do is present an objection. You have to completely understand. Before he does that, can I help? Because he helps me a lot. He's my P. Diddy, yeah, yeah, that's right. So here's the thing. Do we know about who P. Diddy is? He was the backup singer. Yeah. So the, until he murdered, he's the one who killed. If you wanna know who. Yeah, he killed Biggie Smalls, guys. Everyone if you wanna know who the culprit is. Too, if you want, he blew up too big. No. If you wanna know who the culprit is of a thing, who's the benefactor? In the subprime crisis in 2007, who benefited the most? Bank of America. They created it. Got it? In your neighborhood, if truly Nolan is suddenly a millionaire because everyone has rats, they dropped him off in the middle of the night. You understand? Because there's no fucking, guys, this is it. If, if Mos uh, Mosquito Joe got us for $5,000, there's a tent, it doesn't work. Pfft. Spray mist, pfft. it doesn't work. It's fucking annoying, right? But the point is, you know why? They drop vats of mosquitoes. I'm telling you. But listen, here's the point. That might be a conspiracy theory. But. <laughs> P. Diddy killed Biggie Smalls because after Biggie died, he blew up. He was no one. Although Russell Simmons did say about, and this is all valid, you should take all this. He did say about Sean Puff Combs, as an intern, Sean was the kind of guy that you send into the jungle. He'd make him do outlandish shit that was not achievable. He came out with the lion's head. Are you with me? Why are you putting the camera on them? Because I want, to see, I want them to see the reaction. But the YouTube's gonna be... It's fine. I don't need name on I look like. A little muscular that needs to lose some weight. It's fine. Listen. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? I see myself in the video. And you know what he tells me? Because, listen, how you treat your children when you get older and the balance shifts is how they'll treat you. So, I said, Andrew, how did you take me at that bad angle? And he loves posting pictures of me just like, boom. He said, <laughs> Dad, Dad, I do it so that you either love yourself or you do something about it. <laughs> I said, one day he's gonna punish me for breaking the window with a lacrosse ball. But I told him the other day in a text message, I'm safe because I don't even play lacrosse. He got fucking roasted, he was 10. Anyway, <laughs> PD said to me, I said, who's Ray? PD said, wait, like you didn't know the game. Now before PD chimed, I was just checking for both of us. Did you know the game? 
No. Good. Th thank you. Good job. Go. Thank you. Go. Go. Going back to IQ. Go. Good job. Go. <laughs> go. Where are you going to go? All around the room for the remainder of the training, present an objection. You'll completely understand the objection. By this will make you a god today. I'm at work. Oh, okay. Got it. Are you on a break right now? Oh, okay. Got it. Three before living. Okay, anyways. You'll completely understand my situation. Then you're going to present the same new offer by agreeing, reframing, and providing logic of why that's a good solution. So, so before you do, I don't have to say this, but I'm saying this not as his dad. I'm not saying it as the world's greatest closure numbers proof. I'm saying this because it's true because I listen. He is growing into being the best closure I've ever witnessed in my life. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. And no, 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 he fucked that ticket. He's trained. He, he went with the unpaid, unpaid. He went two months with me. Five hours, of, five hour sale, two months. As I went back to back to back crushing people. And he went, and I was 100% close except for the guy that smelled and I kicked him out. And um, he did. And he did it. And now the stuff that comes out of him. Like when Dan came home, he was like, he was on the phone with the customer. He was like, and the customer was mad at Dan. He was like, well, explain it to me. Because I wasn't there and I don't like to talk about other people. These are things that you, they're transition statements, but he's got them all. So um, that being said, if you can embody this, this is how he turns up today. David and Ryan and Liam at 15%. You do this today. Everybody else at 65, do this today. You're going to own it. But go, go around, around. This is yeah, what you so need I'm to train today. Gonna, you, you can use any word track that you want, but a word, an example of the word track is, oh, I got it. And just rebate what, knowing that, you knowing that you're at work. Knowing, I know you're busy. Yeah. So why don't we just do this? So why don't we just do a quick reframe? Why don't we just, that's the reframe. Okay. So why don't we just get a quick health questionnaire out of the way? And that way, we can make sure that you're approved. Okay. Right? Guys, and, reality, and then what's some more logic to support that? And, and that way, you know, you know that we're even talking about something. Tonality so Tuesday, who wants to go first? Yeah. I will. Yes. Doug, do you want to go first? No. Yeah, you got a spiff. I, I, I asked Missy to bring the spiff card. You got a spiff card. We're going first. Later. Okay. Who's going to give the objection? Me? Yes. Shit. You're the teacher. <laughs> All right. No, no, Jacob. Be the teacher. Go. Uh, wait, so. Uh, at the top, just start from the top. Well, the link one, we should all know. Yeah. Does everybody know the link one? Yeah. I just thought it to Liam today. But you know the link, the first thing is did you get it? And the second thing is did it open? Or does it open? <laughs> right? Everyone's doing that? Yeah. Are you doing that, right? Yeah. Did you, you get it? Does it open? Did you get it? Does it open? You, you got, got it? That? Because. Does it open? Because. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, I make it open. I make them open it. The only time is if they, like, they say they're in the car. I mean, what are they? I don't. Let's specifically try for the tour. Like I'm like driving. I mean, That's the only time. Let me know when you got that open. Okay, good. Yeah. So sure. listen, let's just try the quote. A lot of people get stopped. Can I be Diddy? You're Diddy? Yeah, sure. Where do you get stopped at the most? Ooh, I'd say four. I don't get stopped at it. It's close. I'll, I'll probably get stopped right before the verified link or like during the link. Before, so you're getting stopped here, Ryan, right? Yeah. By the way, Ryan has an amazing skill. If I get past there, Dude. it's just locked. So from now on, Ryan's gonna take somebody else's phone or a black phone, because he's doing three live trains a day, and I think if he doesn't wait there for an hour for you to sell it, he's gonna get six, and that's huge. So where do you get stopped the most? Everybody, go in the room. Where do you get stopped the most? Decline, we all get stopped. You got a pivot. <laughs> Great pivot you did today. Where do you get stopped the most? Where do you get stopped the most? It's in your loop. It's just them saying that they don't have time. So you're stuck. And that, and that shows you, see like how advanced the room is? It's just because you're the newest to yeah. us. Does that make sense? Okay. Who else? Where do you get stopped the most? Devin, where do you get stopped the most? When do you die? <laughs> when did you die? <laughs> I would say yeah, 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 everybody. Probably right after the link before the paper. Right? Okay. Okay. Wow. wow. Right there. Okay. Next. Where do you get stopped the most, Dan? He does. That's why he's got to eat grand. Eat it. Next. Where do you get stopped the most, uh, Ryan Anderson? Um. <laughs> Today. Where do you get stopped the most? Um, Consistently. I don't get stopped. I got. I mean, I took the two, I talked to two days, but they both spoke like a fucking champion. <laughs> hey, Mr. Panning got fucking sixed after leading the whole time. Where do you get something most? Hmm. Oh. Uh, most lately. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. We should have fucking, by my account, we should have a thousand sales. It's like you guys have to stop. Help me. <laughs> Where do you get stuff from? Uh, application. Mm -hmm. Some people are resistant to that application. After you get it. How are you asking for the app, guys? You just, have, have any of you just gone right into the questions? And they're like, whoa, 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 what are we doing? Well, Marcus gave me a good one where it's like, well, now that I have this information, I feel more comfortable going into the Wonderful. Yeah. 
cheese ass lunch. I don't know that I feel like it's hard when I when I say that. Me personally, mm-hmm. I guess it it's everyone's different. Tonality is different. Yeah, when I shoot the two texts, I'm like, well, from here, at least shoot for the approval. Oh, they're not talking about the application. You're saying applying with the carrier. Oh, you're talking about carriers. Oh. You're, you're okay. You guys are here. Yeah, yeah. you guys are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no, no. no. We're up. I'm, I'm after. Here. I'm right after the paper app. Okay. That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So okay. let's start here then. Okay. <laughs> let's do your part. So let's do. Let's start with Marcus because he got to spit for this. He starts first. Uh, you be the bad guy. Okay. And go to. Wait, why don't we just start from where you pretty much leave off on the script, right? Or what? You want the script? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But you you memorize it? I know. From now on, hey, from now on, every training, bring the one to thirty nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Got the one for thirty nine. Take the picture. Go. All right. So Jacob, go. Don't apply. Where, where am I starting? At? Uh, you're starting at where you're stuck. Part. Sick part is they don't want to. They don't want to apply. Okay. So we just ran the quote. Well, right. I'm just reading the quote. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So honestly, Jacob, now that I know we kind of got that max comfortable ten, we're looking at a hundred thousand dollars in coverage for yourself. That's going to run you uh, exactly one hundred and seventeen dollars fifty cents a month. Uh, really, you like I said, you kind of know what you're going with. We know the carrier, you know the coverage, and we know your payment. Really, at this point, I am more comfortable as your senior underwriter. Really, kind of moving forward with that formal application to the mutual of Omaha. Uh, really, at this point, we're really looking at a really quick process for yourself. All I really need from you at this point is two texts into your phone. The first is going to be a set of HIPAA disclosures, uh, just saying we here at Fidelity and the mutual of Omaha want access for social medical records for any reason. And then I'm going to send you a copy of the uh, application and policy as well. Not saying that we've been approved or the policy is active. Uh, ultimately, it's just for you to have tangibly. Sorry, I just spit all over you. Guys. Um, <laughs> I, I want to stop uh, Marcus right there. I didn't even know that uh, Marcus was going to spit that kind of game. And I'm not me, Brian Marcus, but I would buy right now. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even. Vote I, 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 it was so good. It was ridiculous. After he says that, then say no. And yeah. All you have to yeah. do yeah. is yeah. identify what the problem is. Agree with that, reframe, and just say, oh, okay, why don't we just do this? I know, right? actually, maybe maybe so Go, say it, say it, say it. Because I do get the objections here. Yeah, of so, course, of course, of course, say it. Uh, I thought you said that we, uh, you couldn't sell me anything today. I thought we weren't doing anything today. No, no, I completely understand. And again, I agree, I agree. I can't sell you anything. Wait, you really no, 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 no. Stay on task. Stay on task. Do the exercise. Stay on task. Go. What did you just say? I thought we weren't going to buy anything today. So, you have to first acknowledge what you just said. Oh, got it. No, we're, so... Yeah, we're not buying anything, but, and it's about tonality on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. So change the. You were just at this tone level, right? Not even tone. Your your music is here. Say, oh yeah, you know what? Hi. And then Hi. Reframe, reframe to this. Go we'll tenor. Reframe. Go Justin Timberlake. And then you offer from your baritone. Say, oh, what we're gonna do is just see if we're approved. So we're gonna find us into a tech, and then now your next thing is not as complicated. It's just real simple because it has to be a new idea. Does that make sense? Right so, uh, I thought you said that uh, you could, we weren't buying anything today. Oh, yeah. I mean, not at all. Not selling you anything. Uh, really, what we more so want to shoot for is see if we can get you approved. So, again, I really want to send you two texts. And we can Good. Good. Say good. Say no again. But right, we did, did, did you just do the application? Yeah, exactly. But just actually say, no, I don't want to do that. No, no I don't want to do that. Get the, the second one on the board. Where is it? Uh, it's see it one instant decision. The contact come to you. Where? Oh here. Oh yeah, we're in, we're we're number two. Oh. Uh, number four. Four. See if you get approved. Okay, try this exactly. Oh, got it. Well, knowing that, why don't we just why don't we just see what instances in they come to? Gotcha. Uh, now that we know that, why don't we actually just go through the application and see if we can get an instant decision today? Good. You mumbled that, but do it again. Right, that yeah, that's okay. Hey, do you know twice? Now that you were high, he's like, oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just why don't we just see what instances in they come to? Okay. And make it sound new. Like uh, what? No choices. And what you've done too, if you've all heard it, it sounds like you're asking me for the same thing. Got it? Yeah. It's like you're you're just asking for the same thing. <laughs> but I don't I don't know if I want you to make it different. Do you understand that? All right. Okay. So go. <laughs> Like way to change on that one to four well, point five to four. It's not even about the tone scale. It's just about how you're sounding. So make it sound like a new idea. Make it sound like a new idea for me. Like, all right, uh, you know, oh, you have a blue sweater. Andrew, you do it. Uh, m- say no to him the exact same way. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay, gotcha. What do you mean, like just as far as applying? Give him the, give him your real note. Give him the real note. Like yeah. No yeah, he's fine. Like, just, it's like as far oh, as I thought you just, just said we were buying anything today. Mm, no, not as far as buying anything. We're just trying to see, uh, you know, if we get approved. But I mean, why, why don't we just do this? Why don't we just see what instant decision they come up with, and that way they see if they give us a yes or no. Because 
the ultimately the best uh, policy is the one that we get approved for, right? Oh, so we so actually see the quote the law says yes or no. You want to just do that, and it comes to the close. You want to just do that? Assume. No nah, nah, he says no again. No he choice. said he said no again. Say it again. Say it real. No, not. I mean, not really. Mm, got it. What do you mean? Like, he said the quote was in approval. Were you serious me. about? Were you serious about? Well, I mean, I, so the agree? quote isn't an approval. Like he gave me the numbers. No, it's just it's just a quote. I mean, it, it's exactly that. It's just a quote. Um, I mean, were you serious about actually thinking about signing up for something like this? Oh uh, yeah, uh -huh. I'm definitely serious on it. <laughs> That's it. But it's I'm trying to right there. He's like, you know what? I'm just giving my name. But see, what's important is he's 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 finding the actual no. You're agreeing with the no. And you're making it sound like a new idea. Yeah. That's the point. Transition. Man, you got maybe more difficult with girlfriend, but it's okay. But just trust right. me. But I feel like I've heard all these things that I'm saying right now. To be honest, that's what I'm using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard people say this. Like, do you not understand why it works? Do you not understand the words? It no, it's very natural for you to go from Timberlake to oh, okay. Like that's where I lose myself. Because I, I think of it like this. It's the same way why Dan says that he's he's you know he doesn't want to say. Now that I feel comfortable, what we're asking all of you to do is get out of your comfort zone. You all have your own lane and you're selling your own customer. You got it? You're selling 25% of the people that are out there. And on a good day, when the 25% are kind of in your mood, you can get up to 30, 40%. It's a difficult concept, but yeah. it's just this thing about like Kung Fu. If me saying, you know, what, if I send you a link, it's if I send an email or a text you, you know I don't want to do it. It might just come in in a different way. It might, it might work a different way. But I can't use that same idea. So then I would just come in if he's like, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to just see if you get approved? Why don't we just do that? Do you want to just see if we get approved? It's almost like how I talk to Alexander. It's how you talk to a six year old because they're just being childish. Got it? Right? So, so practice it. Do it right now. Practice it. Go ahead. Jacob, hit him with a no. Um, so, do you want to go ahead and shoot you over two times so we can get a uh, flush? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't really looking to do all that. Okay, okay. Uh, well, how don't we do this? Why don't we at least walk through the application and see if we can get an exit? Wait, wait, and I would take that. That's fine. That's actually the, he actually did that good. Yeah. Even though he didn't find the note, that was actually perfect. That was perfect. Because, see, everybody listened with your own ears. He reset. You literally reset your mind. Yeah. Great. That was actually good. Okay, so it's like, why don't we take a left on Elm? No, we can't. All right, let's just take, let's go down Northwest 56th Street then. Yeah, it's literally a different road, but it's the same thing. Does that make sense? The okay. only other thing you could add is uh, trying to figure out what the hell, and it's hard for Maggie too to role play this. Because he's just making it up, but yeah. But you also just, oh, what do you mean by that? Like, you're actually trying to find the problem. You're, it's called isolating the objection. What's yeah. the best way to describe it? That's what you're doing. Because they're going to say it's this, 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 but really it's one thing. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have great job, guys. Give, give him some love. Give him some love. Give him. I'm going to have Liam. Liam can't give us the link. So Liam's gonna play the bad guy. I want you to say everything you've already heard. And and Dan, you think you can handle doing these uh, this exercise? What? Okay, who's next? Who wants to do the exercise? Yeah. You do it. Okay, you get it. You understand the exercise? Yeah. Say it in a new idea. So on the link, let's practice. You got you got two things. Did you get it? Because, yeah, and did it open? Because, does it open because? Guys. Are you with me? Yeah. So just say what you've heard recently. Go. Well, what did the last guy say to you that said, I don't want to do it. Hi, Leo. This is Ryan with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I was just calling to touch base about the Be Your Own Bank with Cash. Go right to the link. Go right to the link. Yeah, not, not right now. I don't think I have time uh, for that. You can just call me back maybe another time. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Well, I mean, do you remember the video of the strong ball guy all over social media talking about life insurance? Uh, uh, yeah, I do. Right. And on your application here, it says you're located in Florida. Is that right? Nice. Uh, that, that, yeah, why? I don't really have time for this. Well, the reason I'm calling is, listen, I'm just your account manager. Um, you know, I'm, for full compliance, my name is Ryan Rivera. I'm just going to go ahead and send over a verified producer link. Has some good information about me and my company. All you can do better is acknowledge that he's busy. I know you're busy right now, so say yeah. you're busy, here's yeah. the solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is because you're busy. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to send yes. 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 That's it. I'm not unjust, because that alludes to the fact that this is all we're going to do. All right. And, and let me be clear, since last Thursday, Thursday Ryan hasn't gotten less than three live transfers. He's got two already for the day. He's got a wow. sale. Right. So imagine when you get to the point and you just acknowledge that. Because everyone's kind of a hurt little kid. They just want to know you hear them. I, do you see me? Mm -hmm. That's all they, that's it. And by isolating going, oh, I get that you're busy. Because you're busy. Same thing, ready? Even though you were just like anyway, but now it makes me feel like, oh, you understand me? Now you're at least going to do this. Start at the top and do that successfully. Go. Uh, 
Do you remember the video of the Sean Ball guy over social media talking about Be that like, same dick. Yeah, I think so. Why? Be a dick, be a dick, no. I don't have, I only had time for this call, to be honest, man. No, listen, man, I, I get it. You're busy. Why don't I just send over a verified producer link that has some good information on there uh, about me and the companies that we work for? So, uh, what? I don't have time for any links or anything, dude. I have to figure out. Well, well, give it up. Give it up. Yeah. I mean, I'll, you give an iPhone, right? I'm just going to go. Did Ooh. you get that text? Whoa! Dude! This is oh. why he's got the live transfer volume. <laughs> got it? Do you see it? Okay. All right, good. Give them some love, guys. Give them some love. All right. So we're going to do uh, David Gill, everything bad that everyone's been saying to you um, at the, are you getting stuck in the link of the paper, paper app, Dave? Um, it's more during the, the link. Okay. Okay. So you be the bad guy, all the stuff you've heard bad and Devin's going to be the good guy. Devin, you got this at the top? Yes. Okay. Go, go. Wait, you want to start where? I, the link. I want. I'm, this is for David. Go. So be the bad guy, David. Let's see if Devin can turn it. Go. I'm just a senior underwriter assigned to your request. Um, in full compliance, my name is Devin Anderson. Is this your personal cell phone number, David? Yeah, it is, but I have no time right now. I'm at work. Understood. You're at work. Is this your time off? I'm mean, going to answer the phone. Good! Um, wow! wow. wow. Go, Devin. Devin, go. I mean, you answer the phone. It's just, uh, I'm sure you have some time. Oh I'm going to send over a text. It's just my verified producer link. It just gives you a little bit more information. Okay, on the only thing I'm going to fix here, don't assume. Don't ever say I'm sure you have time because you answer the phone. By saying you answer the I phone is good enough. By saying I'm sure you have time, no man tells me what to do. Yeah, You're going to have a dance or something. Too early. Got, got it? it? Too early. Right, right. These are slips. These are slips. Yeah. This is great. We're sparring right now. Continue. Go. Okay. Well. Just go. Okay, so just say, like, "Dogs like this." You know what? I know you're at work. Why don't I do? Why don't I do this? What? That's it. Oh, got it. Oh, I got it. Why don't I just? That's the point. Oh, why don't I, why I just, just? Why don't I just shoot you over this text? It just gives you a little bit more information about myself and our company. Did you get that text? So no, be the guy, David. So be the guy. So be the guy. Yeah, I got it. But man, I got no time for this, man. I gotta go. I hear you. I hear you. Are, are you able to get it open? Can you see all the things you're working on? No, I'm No, I'm working right now. I have no time. Understood. I mean, I know we're all busy. I just want to make sure it opens for you because I've been hearing that some people aren't able to get it open. Done. He did it. That's it. That's and it. that's all you could do. That's a fight. Give him some love, guys. Give him some love. All right. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, who wants to handle the paper app, guys? The paper app. Uh, I'm going to go here. Ryan, people stop you at the paper app? Yes. Okay. So, Ryan, you're going to take the paper app bad guy. And I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to ask Dan. Do we know the game now, Dan? Yes. Okay, Dan, you're gonna. Take... Okay, it's quick health questionnaire. Head, heart, lungs. Agree, reframe logic. Okay, be the bad guy. Go, be the bad guy. Uh, ask for the paper app. I'm gonna go over here. Um, and now that we know that you're really looking for that nice protection, you know, and a little bit of cash build will be a nice bar for it on a rainy day. Let's get some simple stuff out of the way. I have your name here as Ryan Anderson. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Okay. No, Ryan, right. stop that. Stop that shit. No, he's he's sneaking. How? He doesn't even know what I'm doing. He stuck his shit right in. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You're not gonna get Dan because he sneaks. Okay. Yeah, right. Dan, 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 safe. Okay. No, uh, you have to get to the no, point no. where they start asking about like your health. The health. Okay, okay, go, 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 help, go, go. So you just want me to skip to the health? Skip the health. Skip the health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, and as you know, I mean, it's a little more than runs the application, more based on qualifying aging health. Right. There's five main categories. It's your head. Wait, wait, your cancer. You're gonna. Ask oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's the basis of qualifying. We went over this before. I, I don't feel comfortable talking about my health to a uh, stranger. Well, there's three types of things we can do, right? We don't have to do the health questionnaire. Don't get me wrong, right? It will offer you more coverage, but in the interim, what we could do is get yeah, you for training. We we'll try to do this. What once they say it. Just, no, this no, is what I'm doing. I got you. I, got you. I don't. I don't. But this, this is gonna get you next level. This is gonna get you seventy k. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the last time I did it, though, I got fucking blasted. No, 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 not that, not that, not that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, all, which, PD, all I'm asking to do is repeat what the no was. So the no was, he said, I don't want to talk to a stranger. So just go back and be like, show me on the doll where they touched you, like that. So I don't want to talk to strangers. So say, I understand. So you don't want to talk to strangers. Okay, and then make it sound like a new thing. Well, why don't we just do a quick health questionnaire then? That's all. It's like this. He just got, said he didn't want to do health and now I'm saying health again. I know, I know, but it, I know you don't get it. It's just the same thing. That's the point. That's the point of the game. I guess I don't believe it, that works for this specific See that? You have to be sold yourself. 
or you're not gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, but if you just said I don't want to do health questions and I say, why don't we do a health questionnaire? Then, then, then call the question. Why don't we just do a verbal? Just use a different word. Why don't we just do a verbal? Because I just need this information. Yeah, that's it. Get it? Get it? That's it. That, that's what this practice is about. Last thing is logic. You know what? Last, because in reality, back in the day, you used to have to go mail the stuff to the carrier. But what if they decline you? See, as an independent agent, we plug this in. That's it. Stop. Done. Stop. Because then you go off on a tangent. Until we get it. But that, the, the role that's play that we're doing, Tonality Tuesday. It's the reasoning that we're gonna do it. This, right? yeah. You know what? I know you don't wanna do that, but why don't we just do a verbal? Because then I can plug it right into the carrier. Hey Melissa, how are you doing? Even the way you are about to overcome it, you should like the logic. You're I can't see you. There's three kinds of approvals. I can't see you. Instant uh, disavowal, uh, whatever. Or what time's training? Time. There's no, there's no training going on. I don't have guys in this room. There's no eyeballs in here. We're not training. Agree, 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 because. So, in other words, the way that you would structure that is. Okay, 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 is acknowledge what they said because the, the lesson here today is this tonality Tuesday. Make sure the customer that the customer feels seen. That's all. And understand this: everything we're doing is to make you better, to get you to seventy grand. Got it? Um, yeah. Every person, no matter where you're at, and you have to understand that there's a, there's a there, this skill level. It's finite, man. It, it's it's small. The, you you hear words, but we're what we're doing. We're doing the best we can to actually. It's called codify. Break down what we're doing. Andrew does it because he watched me do it dozens of times. That's what it is. It's a, you know, how about this? How about we just continue like training about, see what I just did? There you go, high five, high five, motherfucker. You got that? Did you catch it? Did anyone catch that? That's it, I didn't have anything beyond that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, did you see it? I feel like I'm always being but it's, I'm always getting because deep. once it becomes <laughs> part of no, 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 it's not it's communication. And this closing is how you're gonna get everything in life. And remember this always: everything you don't have, you're gonna get from a stranger. Now say that to yourself. Together, everything I currently don't have, I'm gonna get from a stranger. Say it again and believe it. Everything I currently don't have, I'm gonna get from a stranger. You know what that does? It forces you to get extrovert. It forces you to realize that you gotta find something new. And 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 Dan, for this, all we're doing is let it embody. You don't don't let it change your physiology. Let it embody you, and just realize that we're just. I'm just asking you when he said the reason why I don't acknowledge that. Say the same thing you're gonna say, and when you say the same thing, I'm just gonna say this because I think it's important. That's it. Literally that. You see how I took the turn? I didn't even fucking ask for anybody's permission. Later, I'll take you one on one, and we'll actually go over. That's it. Yeah, are you catching that? Mm -hmm. Fuck, it doesn't stop. You know what we're gonna do? Fuck this. You and I, let's do it together. Fuck this. <laughs> Did you catch it? You can do it at any fucking tone level. I can do it high, I can do it. Stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know it fucking works. And you know why? You know what you're experiencing? You're experiencing what General MacArthur said, one of the best generals in the army. A tactic known as a tactic blown. It's only impacting you because I assure you the tactic. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's verbal advantage, man. What did you say? A tactic known as a tactic. Attack. General MacArthur said that. He said, don't let the fucking enemy know. Don't. The only three people in this room, only the key people need to know what we're planning is because a tactic known as a tactic blown. These are tactics, man. Tactics means this. You are a fucking Green Beret. You're a Navy SEAL. These are your tools. These are words. These are weapons. They're weapons. And I'm letting you in on how they're used. Stop. You know when you get really good at this stuff? When you can actually program people, there are people in the CIA that can force you to commit suicide. Oh my God. And they have. Because you're gonna sign that you did it and you did nothing. Mm -hmm. You understand that? And you're gonna sign that you did it and you're gonna think it's a good idea. Because somehow, somewhere, something's important to you, you're gonna be doing it for who? Your family. Mm -hmm. You're duped. You're duped. But are you duped? Or is this the art of persuasion? It's the art of communication. Listen, everything you think you do, even the girls you think you like, you got sold. In the 16th century, the heaviest girl in the room, reaching for the apple with Da Vinci, 
we all be sweating her meat, riding her. But no, if you watch Instagram, you think that that's the thing, right? Are you with me? You're being sold all of your bill of goods. How much do I spend on cars? I was sold on that. What if, here, BMW's best car, right? Not in Europe. BMW's a taxi in Europe. You guys like the Ford Explorer? I don't, because the Expedition the Explorer, I even owned a couple, they're cop cars. Yep. But they fucking love that shit out up in the Middle East. Does that make sense? So you're getting sold, programmed. What's important to you? Then why don't you take control of this and start the programming? Because mm-hmm. everything you don't have, you're gonna get from a stranger. Does that make sense? And guess what? Everyone in this room, you're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna. And guess where my discomfort was? In front of the fucking mirror. I never had a coach like this that was willing to teach me. I had private coaches from their books and their lessons from what I took, and then I codified it for myself, and then I went in front of a mirror and I did it. That's why I don't have the same fucking stresses that you guys have. Whatever the fuck your problems are, are not mine, and they never will be, but they were at one point. Does that make sense? Because I fucking worked through this shit. Mm-hmm. I've been on the phone when I was, when you, they were dicking you, and the guy, I could tell your physiology changed. That guy blew you out of the water. Mm-hmm. He, he said to you in not so many words, what the fuck are you doing with my information? Fuck up my time and my life, right? Your whole physiology changed. And then from the doorway, I just had you get fucking with the guy. Yeah. Until he hung up, great job. And now here's the thing, and I don't wanna be cocky, but he wouldn't hung up with me. Got it? Mm-hmm. Cause that thing where your ears turn red, it takes a lot more than that. Yeah. You can bring in the guns to the office, my ears aren't fucking red. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Cause I've been through that shit. That's the point. Does that make sense? That being said, you didn't do the role play. Do the role play. You be the bad guy. No, who hasn't been a bad guy yet? You're the bad guy. Do the role play. Do it. Be the bad guy. And check, check in here. Do this one. Paper wrap. Go. Paper wrap. Hey. Wait, who's doing it? Hey. Oh, Stevie. What's that like, line 40? Paper wrap. So, okay. Uh, so Marcus, you, you told me uh, what's, what's most. So Marcus, you told me what's most important to you. Um, what I like is to get a quick five line on you to see which we can get a quote for. I mean, you've already had me on the phone here for about ten minutes, man. I don't have a lot of time for that. Hey, understood. I know your time is important, but uh, it's you know the thing about the application is we need to see what you qualify for because you can't go down to the store and buy it from Walmart, right? So. You, yeah, why don't we just uh, circle back, say later today, maybe even tomorrow. Well, this will take not even five minutes, so we can run through this right quick. Just do this. Five five minutes, minutes, so, uh, all right, so, so when he, after the first time he said it, say it, and then when he tries to come back with that again, say, oh, wow, what are you doing right now? Just running errands real quick? Like, try to figure out what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. To be like, oh, what are you doing right now? Right, ask him. Like, oh, okay, so are, are you on the wait? Are you in the weighted store or something on the way to work? What's going on? Ask him that. So, so, hey, Marks, so what are you doing right now? Are you on my show? She won't leave me alone. Oh, you guys Oh, oh. okay, good. I just, hey, I understand. I tell you what. Well, wait, wait, Steven, something even deeper. Oh, what are you guys going on a date or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something quick, dude, something quick like that's big. Right. You don't even have to get that deep. But yeah, the, the exercise is understand the situation, right? And then when you understand the situation, present the idea with logic. Uh, print that idea, reframe it, and then give them logic at the end, right? So try to hit him with, oh, what are you doing right now? Oh, got it. Well, why don't we just get a quick health questionnaire? Which is, here's the two ideas. Why don't we just get a quick health questionnaire? That way we know what you're approved for. Right. Because, you know, this isn't something you just get, pick up at Walmart. You said it, but just order it, right? Yeah. So agree, reframe, right? Oh, why don't we just get a quick health questionnaire then? That way we know what you're approved for because you can't pick up this at Walmart, which right. is the logic. Does that make sense? Hit him in that order. Okay. Um, hey, Mark, I understand. I, I, I understand what you're doing, man. You guys go a date? Yeah, I have to. I want to. Have to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep them all happy. I understand. I tell you what, Marcus. Let's just do this. Yep. Why don't we just? Yeah. We just get a quick health question. Why don't we just do this? Get a quick, quick health question in. That would be no. I'd love to. I'd love to. I just don't got the time, Steven. <laughs> hey, Marcus. Understood. So right here, uh, just need to look with your head, heart, and lung. And about cancer. That's that would be no. Oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm clean bill of health. Only got high blood pressure. Oh, that's fantastic. High blood pressure. That's great. What kind of medication did you take for that, Marcus? Amlopine. Good. Amlopine. 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 Fantastic. Good Anything thing. else? Mom, High cholesterol. 
Not I can't think of anything else, but I got to go, bro. Okay, yeah. fantastic. That, hey. was you, that was it. That was it. That was the exercise. Okay. That was it. But you see how that's, he tested you once, then you just have to somehow, some way. That's the exercise. It's agreeing, identifying what's going on. Right. Oh, so you're going on a date with your girl. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, let's just go. Uh, like, when, you, like, when you got rid of the, um, all of them, questionnaire is so broad and you're like, head, heart, lungs, and cancer. It's like, well, fuck, none of these things are fighting. <laughs> right. And it's not scary. The point is, the actionable thing actually isn't as scary as they think. Even if it's like actually a fine. Well, it's just a fine. We're seeing if they say yes or no. That's it. It's, it's I would say, I would say less than like 25% of my heart transfers yeah. have just let me go through that. Probably All of them are fighting me. And so I'm always getting, I'm always getting, you know, objection rebuttal, objection rebuttal, but I'm getting them back on that. But oh, all those, every single one is a fight. Wait, Ryan has to go. And did you go? Did you go yet? Or did you already go? Oh wait, you already went. But I've never been a bad guy. All right, I'll be the. I'll. I'll. All right, I'll. I'll be the bad guy. You go, Ryan. I can at least get to three. Why don't you go for the apply? Nobody's actually tried to apply. Try to get me to apply on the script. Or what part of the script do you usually just do that right now? Oh, it's when we find an agreeable payment. So we found an agreeable payment. And uh, I'm the customer, and so I'm like, yeah, a hundred bucks is definitely a ten out of ten. That definitely works for me. No, no, so not, not that we got that. They want the payment. That's what they want. For you, you know, really the next step is just to apply with the mutual Omaha, right? It's going to be just two texts, right? The first one going to be the copy of the HIPAA disclosures, just saying directly from the mutual Omaha, saying, you know, we went over sensitive health information today, and they're not going to share it with anyone. It's going to be between you and the mutual Omaha. And the second one's gonna be a copy of the policy. Now that doesn't mean we're getting approved today, but it does give you that good information about the policy, right? The monthly payment, the coverage amount, the policy number, and gives you a lot of good information. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if I wanna apply today, but the 100 bucks definitely works. I just don't know if I wanna apply today. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So try to try to understand try to understand why I'm not applying. Okay. So okay, got it. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Are you fighting this beneficial, guys? Yeah. Because there's no one else fucking trying to help you guys do this shit. Does right. that make sense? I want I want you to remember this. Leave the fucking person you were before you got here behind. Period. I have what I have because I'm willing to fucking crush the pussy in me to be me. Got it? There's a fucking weak person inside of you. That's why you fucking failed. That's why you don't have. And that's why I have a ridiculous abundance. So I, I know sometimes I fucking am nice to give it to you, but sometimes you just gotta fucking eat it. You wanna be the fucking man, you wanna have this shit, eat it, get this fucking lesson so I can get to the next fucking lesson. Got it? Train this shit. Um, I get passionate, fuck. No, just <laughs> <laughs> All right, you prefaced that really good. So you hit it with, uh, you know, you yeah. with the yeah, So now I'm like, you know what? I like the hundred dollars because if you got this far, you have some rapport with them, right? So yeah, I like I like the hundred dollars, but I just don't know if I want to apply today. So try to try to be like, what? what? Like try to try to like, understand completely understand why I'm not applying, and then you're gonna just come with the new offer by saying, oh god, well why don't we just do this by green? Then you're gonna reframe it and then just provide some logic for why that makes sense. So let's just go step by step. Try to completely understand my situation okay. for why I don't want to agree or why I don't want to apply. I just don't want to, I just don't, I, I like the hundred bucks, but I just don't know if I want to apply right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I completely understand. What's this, uh, is this something you're serious about? Is this something that you, you want to get done for the family? No, I am serious. I just don't know. Uh, it's because I just, I feel like I might have to think about it. I like the hundred dollars, but I usually just don't jump into something like that. Okay, well, let, let me ask you this. Are you, are you the breadwinner? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who, who would you, um, who, how can I say that? Uh, who, who, yeah, who, do you, who do you need to talk to about? Um, no, it's not even talking. I just usually don't jump into things like this. Like, yeah, yeah, I completely understand. Well, look, you know, we're not even making a decision today, right? We're just we're just applying to see if we can get approved for something like this. So, um, you know, good. I'm not go for that. Link yeah. Would, uh, text good. Now you want for the clothes. That's good. Only thing that could have made that better is if you uh, reframed the ask. What about applying? So what, why don't we just uh, fill in the application just based on what you told me and uh, see if they say yes or no. Why don't we just do that, right? Because that way we actually know if we're approved or not. I mean, okay. we're not doing anything. We're just seeing if we can approve. See how that's reframed though? Because now I reframed the idea about him applying. You identified my problem. What was my problem? My problem was I just don't think that I want to jump into this, yeah. right? So now you did a good job saying we're not actually doing anything. We're just seeing, but clearly identify that. We're not actually doing that. We're just seeing if we get a yes or no. That's it. So why don't we just do that? 
right? That's the ask. I feel like the biggest difference between you and us is you don't seem blustering. Every day. That's true. Yeah. Like, you're right. Right. Like, you are well, almost that's expecting them, and you're kind of rolling through them. That and is true. And that conviction is a part of the secret. Yeah, right? Mickey, when, I, when, it's, when there's an objection, when I don't see it coming. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm like. And then, like, but I think this being able to be, like, I'm taking them down the same street, and they don't want to go down the street. Guys, that's why right. part of this lesson is maybe it looks like we're handling objections, but it's just right here, guys. It is, which is just nothing. Could, even the people, people, well, actually, maybe not now, but people can say things that I wouldn't have expected, but it's just I'm so certain on what the next step has to be. That's actually all it is. I'm so certain that we have to get this application because it's the only way you get what you want. Yeah. Not even not me. It's the only way you get what you want. I know you want to think about it, but we have to see if it's yes or not. It's the only way that you get what you want. That's my tonality. My, I'm not even saying those words, but in my voice, it's the only way that you get what you want is if we do this. So how do we have to think about this? I mean, right? I'm, I'm thinking of that's how I'm problem solving in my head. When I say the words, agree with them, reframe it, and provide logic, I'm actually thinking of ways, okay, based on this guy not wanting to jump into things, how could he think about it? How could I explain it the way that he's, we're not jumping into things, it's just this. That, that's all it is, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But no, that was good, right? That was great. So okay. if someone were to say, you know, I don't want to, I'm not really prepared today, I didn't expect to jump into anything, would you reframe it as like, oh, like, you know, this is, uh, well, first I identify, oh, what do you mean jump into it? Like, like actually sign up for the policy? Like, actually just get, is that what you're afraid like, of? actually get locked into the policy? Yeah, I just don't want to get locked into the policy. Got it. Well, you know what? A lot of times when I've seen clients like yourself, we can actually get the yes and no. Like, we can get the approval. It's five, 10 minutes, it's an instant decision. What they'll add is a 30-day free look provision. See, just logic. Then I'm just, I'm reframing it. We're gonna apply, get that yes or no, and then I'm just gonna add some logic in the end to make it make sense. Why don't we just do that? And then, and then that makes them more comfortable. Because oh, okay. you know, there's reasoning to it. Yeah. There's good reasoning, and I just reframe it like a new idea, even though we're still gonna apply. It's the same thing. But now it sounds like we're just getting a yes or no. And if they said no to that, then it's like, well, we want to get instant decision, right? And after three times, you did your job. But you gotta ask at least three times. So you have to find a new way to ask three yeah. times. That's all we're practicing. You find a new way to ask three times. Can I get a small takeaway too, real mm -hmm. quick, that I was thinking of this morning? Is for the, the new guys coming in, mm -hmm. if you heard how Marcus and Dan pitched it, like Marcus tried to role play, and even John was like, well, I'm not going to say no at that point. You came in so strong. Yeah. And I think like Dan sets the order of the day so well because i sit there and listen to him every day that he came in he had already covered it all mm -hmm. no like it's you're lowering your chances of somebody fighting you back because he came in and already issued basically rebuttals he set the order of the day which is part of the 10 logs even for that specific thing the application he said this is exactly what we're going to do why we're doing it and all that and it's really hard for people at that point to sure, i don't even hear even a lot of people even in the role rebuttaling play, like, yeah even in the role play because yeah. he came in and already had all those things already established made it sound quick made it sound professional and it's hard to say no at that point yeah. but that comes from practice and experience